Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, we're live here with uh, Guy Kawasaki, and uh, thank you all for uh, adjusting your time. Uh, we've uh, needed to do that to accommodate being able to have Guy with us and talk about uh, what the plus. <laughs> so, <laughs> Guy, uh, welcome. Uh, it's great to have you. Thanks for getting up a little early today. I know you got a big day. It's great to have you. Thank you. Um, oh, yes. The book, What the Plus, uh, yeah. what, what inspired you to write this? Uh, there's a bunch of other Google books. What, what inspired you to write the thing? The, the inspiration for What the Plus goes back about oh, 25, 30 years. Uh, I was the second software evangelist for Apple, and uh, my job was to evangelize Macintosh. And at the time, Macintosh, uh, a lot of the experts said that it would fail, it wasn't good enough, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people uh, were passionate users of Macintosh, but that number of people was always a minority compared to MS-DOS. And so, you know, my first big experience with the product was, in my mind, better product, fewer people criticized by experts. Yeah. Flash fast forward to 2012, Google Plus, better product used by fewer people, denigrated by the experts. You know, it was like deja vu vu. And so well, the first time this happened, I wrote a book called The Macintosh Way to explain Macintosh. And so I thought, oh, I should do this again. So that's why I wrote What the Plus, because I really love Google Plus for, for many reasons. And I just see, I just can't understand when people don't get it. And they, yeah. you know, especially an expert who, you know, comes in and doesn't circle anybody, doesn't follow anybody, um, looks for all the people he already or she already knows, doesn't find them, and says, ah, this place is a ghost town. Well, you know, <laughs> I mean, you're an idiot. What can I say? You know, and, and, that's, what, and, that's, what, and that's what we're hearing is that this place is a ghost town with a hundred and something million people on it. Right, right. It, you know, this is... So what I the first thing I explain is that I think that Twitter is great for news. You know, if you if you want to know that there was an earthquake in Argentina and you want tweets from people at the earthquake, God bless you. Personally, you know, I can wait till CNN tells me about the earthquake in Argentina. It doesn't really affect me. So Twitter is for news. Um, I think Facebook is for your existing friends and family. So if you want to know when your friends and family had a baby, had kittens, had sex, whatever, you go to Facebook. Um, but that's, that's a relationship based on already knowing them and wanting to get into sort of the nuts and bolts of their lives. Yeah. And I, I think that Google Plus is completely different. Google Plus is for people you don't know, but you share passions with. Mm -hmm. And so most of my friends on Facebook and family, they're not passionate about photography. Yeah. So I come to Google Plus, and I find Trey Helbig, I find Dave Powell, I find Thomas Hawk. These are people that I didn't know who they were. They didn't know who I was before, but we share this passion for photography. So now I, I explore my passions on Google Plus, and I sort of keep in touch with the existing people on Facebook. And uh, I think over time, as my relationships on Google Plus get stronger and stronger with Trey and with Thomas and with Dave Powell and with other photographers, then they will cross the line from simply sharing passions into being friends who share passions. So gradually, I'm going to migrate over, you know, almost everything to Google Plus. Yeah, and, and we've heard that from from others. Um, uh, you know, I do most of most everything here on Google Plus too for a wide variety of reasons. But um, let me ask you this: um, for uh, passion side aside, mm -hmm. how about for business? Because you know, a lot of people are like, okay, on Facebook, I got to buy my fan pages, I got to mm -hmm. do promoted tweets on Twitter for business. And so, from a business perspective, do you see Google Plus beyond the SEO stuff? We talked about that yesterday. But do you see Google Plus as a as some kind of a yeah. business platform? Well. Well, first of all, I don't think you can so easily, you know, I know why you just said that, you know, because you did it yesterday, but the SEO part is huge. And, yeah. you know, for the first time in history, I think, it's SEO that is logical and understandable, and it's not total black magic that, you know, some SEO expert is charging you 250 an hour to, like, spin his tail. I mean, you know, in, in this case, I mean, the way SEO works on Google Plus is, 
if you post stories about venture capital, when your friends or people who know you search for venture capital in Google, Google, not Google Plus, Google, Google, they will see your posts. Wow, wow. I mean, what a concept. So yeah. now, if you, if you want to be known for venture capital, you post them on venture capital. Why? <laughs> you know, you don't have to worry about the headers and the subheaders and figuring out what the keywords are and you know doing all the black magic BS. You just write about venture capital. That's and it. I think I think that is huge. Yeah. Huge change. Yeah. Uh, now let us put that aside for a second. You know, for me, if if Google were if Google Plus were two guys in a garage, a guy and a gal in a garage. They had a million dollars in seed funding. They're trying to take on Facebook and Twitter. You know, I got to tell you, I, I probably would not be as active here, right? Because, you know, will they reach critical mass? Will they get snuffed out? But Google Plus is from Google, for crying out loud. I mean, you know, this is the 8,000-pound gorilla. It's not two guys yeah. in a garage. Now, no way. Yeah, it's, it's not a good assumption that just because someone is big and rich and powerful that they will succeed because clearly we've seen many of those failures. On the other hand, um, if you had to bet on a horse, I mean, you know, you bet on a horse whose you know mother and father both ran in Kentucky Derby and won. I mean, this is this is a, a good good uh, you know the DNA is very good here. Oh, yeah. So I think because Google owns this thing called traffic, uh, it 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 not only can tilt the field, it owns the playing field. Mm -hmm. That it would be irrational to ignore Google Plus. Um, yeah. Now let's blend that, let's blend that just a little bit in with um, what Google's doing with uh, all of Google. Yeah. So yeah. right. So they so you know right now if you use Google Plus it get you put up that uh, that menu across your that you know that yeah, tagline that bar right the, the bar and then you have all your Google services or not all but many of your Google services tied to that and so you know Google Plus is not simply a silo like one of many silos at Google and Google Labs, but it's kind of integrated into Gmail and YouTube and all the other good stuff. So uh, that's why it's very hard to get a straight answer out of the Google Plus people. You know, how many people are using it? It's, it, 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 it's I, I, to this day, I can't figure out their answer when, <laughs> whenever they give me the answer because uh, I, you know, I just want to know how many people are posting and reading, not the way you define it is it's, it's integral into everything, so it's everything. Um, so it's going to be part of everything. I mean, it is not simply a silo. Yeah. So, you know, I, I understand from a small business perspective, they're trying to figure out Twitter and Facebook, and now they have one more to figure out, and maybe they have one more to figure out with Pinterest. Now, yeah. you know, I, I love Pinterest, but I have to tell you, Pinterest is a ghost town, and it's yeah. a really nice ghost town, but... I have been on Pinterest for a week. I've pinned about 50 things. I worked very hard at Pinterest, and after that one week, I had like a thousand followers. And that's a lot of work for a thousand followers. So uh, I have this tremendous advantage at Google Plus, where I'm one of the Google Plus suggested uh, followees, right? Oh yeah. So so that's why I have you know 1.7 million followers. It's not because I'm good. It's because Google has blessed me. But so I am not blessed in the Pinterest world. It's just you know. Just good old guy slugging it out, just like anybody else, posting <laughs> pictures of wedding dresses, right? And, uh, <laughs> well, and, 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 and you, you look good in the wedding dress, by <laughs> the way. You, thank I, you, thank I, I pinned you. it, so. Yeah, yeah. 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 I have a special that's, board for guy in wedding dress. That's <laughs> definitely going viral, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in more ways than one. Yeah. Uh, so so, so from, a, from a businessman's perspective, I guess I would divide it this way. So if I were a restaurant or a bakery or a, or a street food vendor and I wanted to get out news to a large group of people really quickly to say the cupcakes are out or you know our, our, our street food truck will be at the corner of Wilshire and Sepulveda in 30 minutes. I think Twitter is the way to blast that out. You know, just like it's blasting out news of an earthquake, right. you blast out news that the cupcakes are now out, that the street <laughs> food is now there. That's Twitter. Yep. Facebook, I think, is a, is a lot more for like building a community of foodies, promotions, you know, this kind of stuff where you're trying to really interact and you're trying to build this fan base and every once in a while you hit them with a promotion. 
Google Plus, I think, is a combination of both of those. You can do both of those with Google Plus. I think Google Plus, you'll find that there's, um, in Facebook, there will be sort of this superficial engagement where the brand puts something out, somebody, some people respond and say yes, good, bad, or whatever. But in Google Plus, I think when the fan asks a question, or excuse me, when the brand asks a question, you'll get entire essays. I mean, in a sense that Google Plus is more like a real small group, focus group. Whereas Facebook is more like, uh, you know, this mass fill-in-the-blank kind of market research that you do online. Um, so I think if you want a really intense relationship with people, you use Google+. Plus. If you kind of want to say that you have a community engaged, you use Facebook. If you just want to push out news, you use Twitter. Yeah, perfect. Now, let me ask you this, Guy. Um, the book is fantastic, and um, in Chapter 6, you do talk about um, optimizing for social search, and the social search element is huge. Mm -hmm. um, any suggestions that you would give someone who, let's just say they, they, they have a, a few thousand followers, a yep. few thousand circles, and they're trying really hard. They're using all top, right? So they're going yeah. to all top, and they're getting some. <laughs> they're, they're getting some really good stuff from Holy Cow, or they're going to tech, or or or, or photography. So they're going to yep. photography, and they're finding good stuff, and they're posting it, and they're tagging it, and they're and they're engaging with all the guys in the good photography mm -hmm. circles. Is there something else that you would suggest that they do that's not super complicated? Well, one thing that is surely not super complicated is that they need to add a picture to every post. I think if you look at my stream, every post has a picture or an included YouTube video. I yeah. never post all text. Yeah. Um, and I also, to go down a little bit of a rat hole, if you look at my posts, it's never the picture that the link automatically brings in. So you know, if you put a link in your post, Google looks at the link and says, oh, I found a picture here. Uh, let's put the picture in to illustrate the post. And I have found that those pictures are often not the best one in the, pic in the series, or they're just wrong. They're like you know, an ad for something else. Um, they're very seldom cropped very well. Often they're too dark. And so what I do is I manually grab a picture from the source and do a screen grab. And I also use a screen grab that puts a drop shadow because I like drop shadows. And I manually add a picture. Yeah, I manually add a picture to every post that I do. Uh, it takes a lot more work, but you know, for me, posting is an art. And um, you know, you do well with it. Now, how about on your post too? I know this. Uh, one of the things that you do mm -hmm. is uh, every day. Uh, when you put in your post, you'll put in, um, and you're the only one that I've seen do this, right? You put in the day and then the number. Right. Uh, what's the story behind that? Okay, so there's two reasons I do that. One is uh, sometimes I go overboard on Google+, Plus, so I need to know that, guy, you know, this is the 20th one you did today. Maybe you should back off a little. So that's useful uh, to know that I, to, that's, a, that's useful for me to self-discipline myself to say, guy, you know, you're posting too much. And the second thing is more of a fantasy. And so my fantasy is that when you see Monday 07 and you haven't read the other six posts, but you know the guy's system is to post to the number sequentially of the post. So if you come into my stream and you see Monday 07, I hope you wonder, well, what was 06, 05, 04, 03, 02, 01? He has such good stuff. I don't want to miss the other six posts. I'll go look for them. That's my fantasy. I don't know if it works, but that's my fantasy. <laughs> well, I love it because it, that's what makes, uh, I think, in your, in, in your about, you explain that a little. Yeah. And I do look at that now. Uh, but yeah. it, was only, it was only until you explained it that, <laughs> that I... It, well, it, you know, in a perfect sense. world, Google would offer you the preference of numbering your posts. Yeah. Right? Because, like, a lot of times, if you really followed me carefully, sometimes I, like, I'm so spaced out, it's Thursday, and I put, you know, Wednesday, 07, and I, like, I've got the wrong day. And so then I have to go and edit. And, yeah. and, and then there's sometimes where, like, I take a picture, and I just post the picture, 
but I'm too lazy to go to the website to figure out what the number was before because I'm on my phone. So I just post the picture and there's no number with it. So then later on I have to go back and number the picture. Um, it would be a really great thing, but you know, l l just let me say that Google Plus has other things to worry about besides numbering my posts that yeah. you know, they should really work on, but that would be a nice thing. Now, you know, one of the things that I, I do want to commend you for, and I think why we, uh, you know, it's a really gift to be able to talk with you, is that, you know, you preach one thing, and that is hard work. <laughs> and, and, and posting and interacting and creating good mm -hmm. content, it, man, it is a lot of effort. It is. And, and for you to post and, and, and set the example, you know, you're not, I, I don't want to say much more, but, you know, there's a lot of people that talk a lot of crap. <laughs> but you know, but you go back and edit those things, and you do really walk the walk. So, uh, thanks for setting a good example. Yeah, I, you know, I uh, the secret to my success in life is that I'm willing to grind it out. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm particularly visionary or smart or anything like that. But you know, there are people who are smarter than me, and there are people who work harder than me. But nobody is smarter and works harder than me. <laughs> So. Yeah, good, deadly combination. That's why <laughs> it that's is what, a deadly combination. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. One other thing I wanted to ask you is, um, give me your. You're not a visionary, but give me your vision of. Let's fast forward six months. Yeah. And uh, let's look at Google Plus now, and let's say that they've completely done a bunch of really cool stuff. Yeah. And what do you see Google Plus? Are we going to hit the 400 million threshold? Are we going to surpass that? Numbers don't mean anything, but the community strength does. Yeah. What do you What do you see? Um, I, I think, like I predicted that by the end of 2012, there'd be more people using Google Plus than Twitter. Yeah. And now that prediction is going to be very hard to determine because it's just almost impossible to figure out what 100 million means to Google. Right. I, I really don't, I mean, you know, if you use, if you go to YouTube and you see a link to Google Plus and you click on it, does that mean you're a Google Plus user? I don't know. I mean, right. sometimes the way they define it, I think they do, but that's not what I mean. I right. mean that there are people who have, you know, now you can't open up a Google Plus account. It just comes with Google, right? right? So you can't use the number of people who start using Gmail every day because they may get Google Plus automatically, but that's not what we mean. We mean how many people right. are on Google Plus? Active. I, I don't know how you count that number anymore. Yeah. It's so, But that was my prediction. Um, I, I think that um, Google Plus, Google has to have an API that enables you to post from outside of Google Plus. So there, there needs to be, like, Google Plus API is kind of an oxymoron right now, and, and you need things so that there's the thing called Buffer App that allows right. you to buffer your tweets, you know, I, right. I advise that company. And I would like to buffer my Google Plus post because I want to post mostly 8 a.m. Pacific to 8 p.m. Pacific. But shall I say, I find a lot of things at, from 8.01 p.m. to 8 a.m. And so I'm in a quandary every night. I said, well, should I post this at 3 a.m. knowing that, you know, only people in Southeast Asia, the spammers are up right now, so I'm going to get a bunch of crap as comments? Or should I wait till the morning? But then when I wait till the morning, often I forget to post it. Yeah. So I always say, oh, what the hell, post it. And you know, sometimes I think from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Pacific, I should post and turn off comments. I think you should. That would be a very interesting experiment. It would. But then, you know, I would forget to turn on the comments at 8 a.m., <laughs> and then there would be no comment. You know, it would, like this, is not, it's, it, I have thought about this a lot. It's, yeah. But the solution would be that if there were an API so that people could write Google Plus apps and people could write Google Plus add-ons and you know, Buffer app would work and Hootsuite oh, yeah. would work. And, you know, there's a lot of ways you could make it better. Now, it may be that this appeals only to power users, but, I mean, like, I, I look at Pinterest right now, and even on Pinterest, so if I find a cute wedding dress at 10 p.m. at night, <laughs> I know that, you know, most of the newlyweds who are about to get married are sleeping at 10 p.m. at night. So, really, I should post...
pain occurs, that would improve that service vastly. Yeah. Um, so that's the kind of thing I think. I think Google Plus has to come out with APIs in the next six months. Well, one thing is, if if Pinterest comes out with an API to post before Google yeah. Plus does, there will be a round of incredible laughter. You yeah. know, the irony that little Pinterest can have an API before Google, that will make Google the joke of the town for quite a while. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, Kelly, you got uh, a question you'd like to ask, uh, ask Guy? I did. Um, the question that I have and that clients have is how can, you know, these little small companies or startup businesses, how can we compete? on Google. I mean, I think in your your chapter 10, I think it was, I think you gave great tips and uh, and you know, to paraphrase, no pain no gain. You got to get that in there and do the work. But what, you know, what are some of your favorite tips? Okay, for so small uh, give me a hypothetical client and I'll tell you what I would do. You know, okay, I'm a hypothetical client and I and I kind of used this yesterday, Mark. I I make cookies. Okay? okay, I'm busy baking cookies. I make okay. the best cookies in the nation, but okay. I'm over here. I'm busy doing it, and so now yeah. what I'm hearing is I also have to write about baking cookies. Right. You know, I mean, how can I? Well, how can I get the best for my social search out of Google Plus and still do what I okay. do? Okay. So your goal in life on Google Plus mm -hmm. should be to be recognized as the world's greatest cookie maker. Yes. Okay. And so the way you do that is you provide recipes, you provide instructional video, um, you go to food.altop and you provide links to other people's recipes. And if you, if you see that uh, Real Simple Magazine has written, um, you know, the top 10 Christmas cookie recipe, you link to that article. And, and you, you know, you constantly watch all the foodie blogs. Um, whenever you travel, uh, if you go to Barcelona, you go to the Barcelona bakery and you take a picture of the Barcelona idea of a good cookie. So all the world knows that you are the cookie maven. Okay. okay. So so what you're doing is you're becoming this subject matter expert in cookies. And and by coming this subject matter expert in cookies, providing value, that you will then earn the privilege to promote your own cookies. So uh, I call this the NPR model, where NPR has good content 365 days a year, and that's why everybody tolerates the telethons. Nobody likes the telethons, but we all say to ourselves, listen, you know, NPR is putting out click and clack, wait, wait, don't tell me, this American life, you know, Tech Nation, Fresh Air, all this great stuff. So if they have to put out a telethon with that painful pitch, you know, a couple weeks a year for us to donate money, so be it, because we want them to we want them to succeed. We want them to get revenue. They have earned the right to shove that down our throats. So what you need to do is earn the right to shove down your cookie promotion down people's throats by always providing great links. And then, if I were you on Google Plus, I would start creating cookie circles, um, baking circles, dessert circles. I mean, you should own that whole category of dessert. Awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That was You're good welcome. feedback. I like yeah. how-tos. That's great. <laughs> what, what, a, what a nice guy. Hey, yeah. Mark, uh, how, you got something for Guy you want to ask him before we let him uh, take his son to Cal? <laughs> I'd, I'd love to. Uh, guy, it's such a privilege to be on with you today and to hear all these great tips. And uh, the first thing I want to say is from my heart to everyone who's listening to this today, get the book, What the Plus by Guy Kawasaki. Get this book. It is the owner's manual to Google Plus that you were never given. It was the yeah, it is, and it, you know, Tim's holding it up, and it you know it should be given to every new user. Uh, if Google is smart, they would just buy out this book and be giving it away to people for free. <laughs> Great <laughs> idea, right, guy? It yeah, you know, I've been trying to, uh, you know, I've been, <laughs> I've been pushing that angle, but um, no takers yet. All right, we'll have to. We'll have to do the cottage industry like it always gets done, but uh, maybe maybe I should write what the Pinterest, <laughs> <laughs> or put cookies uh, in there. My, my my question for you, guy, would be for uh, for the average user coming in, uh, the person who comes in and, and unfortunately gets that you know what do I do here? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I've been following and answering people's questions on Twitter. Actually, I follow like people asking like uh, how do I use Google Plus or I'm a Google Plus. What do I do? 
Mm -hmm. You're going to see a lot of those questions coming in. Yep. Um, for just the average user coming in, what would be your first tip? What is the first thing that person should do to begin my, my to book. really see the magic my, my of Google Plus? Buy my book. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> was that? I missed it. Buy my book. Buy your book. Well, okay. What's the second thing that person should do? Read it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the third thing? Tell other people to read it. Um, okay. So the. All kidding aside, the first thing a person should do, <laughs> the first thing a person should do, complete newbie to Google Plus, mm -hmm. yeah. is to ask yourself, what are my passions in life? Mm -hmm. Is it hockey? Is it photography? Is it cookies? Is it cupcakes? Is it dogs? Is it adoption? You know, what is it? Wedding dresses. <laughs> Wedding dresses. And then go to the Google Plus search. Not Google search, the Google Plus search, the search within Google Plus, and type in that word. And you will type in that word. If you're a Green Bay Packer fan, type in Green Bay Packers, and you'll find probably there's a Green Bay Packers circle on Google Plus. So these people are not people you know already. Mm -hmm. On Facebook, you have your aunt, your uncle, your sister, your daughter, your cousin, you know, your high school classmates. But they don't care about the Packers. Only you care about the Packers. So you cannot discuss the Packers on Facebook because none of your relatives and friends give a damn about the Packers. So you go to Google+, you type in Green Bay Packers, you find there's a circle of people interested in Google, uh, the, the Green Bay Packers. Then you join that circle, and now you've got a whole bunch of cheeseheads who love the Packers just like you do, and you have a whole new set of relationships. That's the way to start with Google+. Forget your friends. Just... Just pretend all your friends disappeared and you get to start your life new with new people. What an uplifting and an enchanting experience. You get to enchanting. reach all your friends. Yeah. Enchanting. Wow, this is uh, so, the start of the start. Especially if you appear in, in uh, Hangouts with that wedding dress on. That will be very yeah, enchanting. Yeah. <laughs> you do that, tag me, guy. <laughs> so, um, you know, right now I'm, I'm creating a place where people can download. I'm going to give you all free copies of What the Plus. So I'm going to... Awesome. Um, so uh, what should I call it? What the Plus... Uh, what's a good name for... I need a unique name. For uh, Crush IQ. Crush IQ. <laughs> You're the bomb diggity. Okay. So now, how do I provide that to this group of people? Is there a... Just is there a chat window someplace? Uh, yeah, there's a chat window. I'll open it. There it is. You want Guy, to drop you, it in there? If you click chat at the top left, you should see it. Chat at the top left. Okay. So, people should try that link. Okay. Okay? Because I... They should try it right now because I want to know it works before, <laughs> I, before I sign off. That should enable you to um, download a PDF version of What the Plus. How Can many people do you, how many people do you think how many copies should I make available? Right now there's about nine hundred available. Um I don't know. Kelly, what do you think? I would say, uh, from the comments and things, I would say at least 100 of those, if possible, because we're going all over in the comment well, we, stream. And well, I just I'm, posted it. Can yeah, I'm going to set it I'm gonna set it so that 1,000 people can get it, okay? Wow. Bam. Bam. You know what I've noticed with this? I, have, yeah. I must have given away probably 10,000 copies of the book so far. And, and you would think that that would cannibalize the book. But the more I give away, the more it sells. It's very interesting. And, you and know, I, you were talking about that, and I think that's a really cool way of getting it out there. Uh, well, I hope so. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, and they need to, and, and then they need to read it. They they really do. Yeah. In and fact, you know what? A lot of people. I, I'm giving you the PDF, obviously, but a lot of people want the EPUB and the uh, .mobi because it's more flexible. You know, the changes in the font sizes and all that. Right. So a lot of people get the PDF, and then they read a chapter or two, and they say, wow, this is good enough. I should just go buy the real thing. And so people who got it for free buy the EPUB version. That's it. And, and you know, in the worst case, it costs less than a Starbucks grande latte. I mean, yeah, you know. There you geez, go. Give hey, a guy a break. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Um, <laughs> hey, we're going to give you a break, and we're going to let you go um, because we know you've got a big day ahead. So um, have a great time at Cal. 
Okay. Um, and we'll be in touch soon. Don't forget uh, alltop.com. Hook me up with the, uh, you know, the, um, on the RSS, RSS thing. Okay. And uh, the other thing, uh, where will you be talking about speaking next? Where will you be? You got, you're going to be around uh, someplace? That uh, up? Let's see. I'll look at my calendar here. People want to catch you? I spoke in San Antonio yesterday twice. Were you wow. with Scoble? No, uh, no, I was, I was at Rackspace, but I, was, I, was, I spoke to Frito-Lay yesterday. Oh, really? Believe it or not, yeah. Um, the next time I speak, well, I speak in Las Vegas on the 18th. Um, Jacksonville, Florida on the 19th, Dallas, Texans on the 20th, Orlando on the 24th, and Eugene on the 26th, and Las Vegas on the 2nd. I speak wow. a lot. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Great. Well, that'll be yeah. good, Spread, spreading the all-top love. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, hey, so man. I, I can tell you right now, let's see, we'll just, before you leave. So, yeah, like five people downloaded it already, so it is getting out there. Good. Well, we're going to post it so they go get it. And, um, Guy, thanks again. Now, people are going to have more questions, right? They're going to be yep. reading this book. They're going to be. They're going to have questions. Um, there's a lot of people that have a lot of technical things that we didn't get to because um, that would just gobble up time and we wouldn't let you get out of here. But um, if they want to contact you, what is the best way to do that? Plus uh, best you... Way to the, the best way to contact me is to plus mention me somewhere on Google+. Plus. Just okay. you know, share a post and plus mention me because I get notification from that and I, I, I answer plus mentions faster <laughs> than I answer email. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is good. So that's yeah. exactly what we wanted to do. Um, we want to say thank you again for being uh, gracious and, and joining us and all the best to you, my friend. All we'll right, talk thank to you, you soon. Take care. Yeah, right. have a great day with your son, right, and we'll, okay. we'll talk to you soon, bro. Bye-bye. Thanks. See ya. Bye now.